Today I'm selling all of my personal possessions, guys, so I can make some passive income. So let's jump right into it. Welcome back, my passive income investors. Today, I'm gonna show you all the stuff I'm getting rid of. Literally everything has gotta go, guys. All my personal possessions, gondo, so we can make some extra income on the side. And let me explain to you a little bit of a story of what led me down this minimalistic lifestyle, guys, and why I think you should be uh, endeavoring into this idea as well, and how it has made me insanely, uh, well, not insanely yet, but I'm getting there pretty wealthy, guys. It's a good way to make some money. But let's go back to when I was a 19 year old and I decided not to get a real education. I did something that a lot of us do and that is take out a loan to uh, usually people get an education with it, but I wanted to start my own business. For those newbies here, I am a full time magician, guys. A uh, really bit of an odd career, but I took out a $22,000 loan to get into this career. And this, this video is not gonna be me explaining any of that. I just wanna lead up to a point with all the money that I spent, I actually didn't end up using half of the stuff that I bought for my job. And I ended up literally with an entire shipping container of stuff, like a whole shipping container, guys. And about three years ago, I think it was just, oh, just over three years ago, I came to this conclusion of um, compound interest. If you don't know what that is, you're gonna wanna Google it, guys, because it's gonna change your life and you don't realize it until you start utilizing uh, that knowledge and actually putting it into practice. So I've been investing all of my money, a lot of my time into stocks and building a dividend. And now I have a six figure account. And it all started with me um, saving money, starting to see how it worked. And then all of a sudden I looked at this massive shipping container where most of my possessions were. And I'm like, how much money do you think I can get out of this? I ended up selling everything for about $8,000 dollars that got invested into the accounts guys and that money started to grow and i started to make more dividends and more income i realized that everything i own that isn't making me money is it really worth owning so i looked at all these precious metals that i had i that was my main source of saving money and the fear that the markets were going to crash a doomsday was coming but you can't really eat gold or silver or drink it anyway so i mean the value in it is only by what someone's willing to put on it and i came to this conclusion why not get it to work in the bank so last year i started selling a lot of it guys i have somewhere between 30 and forty thousand dollars worth of precious metals it is a huge chunk of savings and i just decided to start liquidating it last year and the first video i actually ever posted on this channel was literally of me selling about fifteen thousand dollars worth of those precious metals guys and even right now it hasn't even been a full two months yet since i liquidated that fifteen thousand dollars worth of precious metals that i'm already up a thousand dollars on it in capital gains and it's making me around a five percent six percent dividend yield which is absolutely crazy to me because it's only been a month and a half and that silver and gold sitting in the basement really hasn't done anything but been flat for literally the last five years since it's been sitting down there guys so as of right now i'm trying to liquidate the rest of my metals uh and i got all this other cool stuff i'm talking like coin collections i have this entire penny collection uh, it's canadian based including a lot of old canadian bills and i'm throwing it all up on ebay i'm talking like silver gold skulls all the stuff that i don't think i'm going to get a good value on at a uh, at a silver dealer or one of those coin shops so i'm going to try and sell it on ebay if it does not sell on ebay guys uh, i am going to have to end up taking a bit of a hit on it if you don't understand the whole idea of compound interest guys you really need to start taking this into strides because literally five years ago i had absolutely zip for money i literally had nothing to my name guys nothing in my pocket i just finished paying off debt and i started getting educated on what stocks were what compounding interest was what is loans real estate i just started learning this stuff and now all of a sudden five years later i have built up a six figure bank account which still feels kind of surreal to me but when you look around you would think i was broke i'm wearing clothes that i've had for literally more than five years i still live at home with my parents guys though i do pay rent um i know dave ramsey would never agree with that but honestly the amount of money i'm able to save living here and i don't want to live here forever god no i want to i'm only 26 i do want to get out of here in the next uh, couple years at the most guys i'll try and keep you updated on that but it's all in the name of living a minimalistic lifestyle guys because when you live below your means 
the quicker you're gonna be able to get rich and retire. And the point of this channel and why I started this channel was to show my journey of how I'm trying to build financial freedom over the next decade. By the time I'm in my mid 30s, 35, I wanna have the option of financial freedom, though I think I'm gonna be able to get to a very healthy place even if I don't make it there. But in this short amount of time I have been investing and looking at compounding my money, I've come to realize that you're an idiot to not be doing this because I literally had nothing five years ago. And just from the compounding and making the right investment decisions, guys, I'm up thirty or forty thousand dollars already just because of the stuff I left lying around. And it's like, why would you leave stuff lying around that you're never gonna use when you can use it to benefit your future, your family, your community, guys? That is the mindset you need to have is growing a future, not just for yourself, but for the people around you. And if you want to take a chance, I'm going to leave the links in the description below if you guys actually want to go and check out the stuff that I'm selling on eBay. I'm not selling all of it on eBay, um, just a few of the little knickknacks that might be a little harder to sell anywhere else, guys. I'm just throwing some screenshots up. You can go check all that stuff out as well. But let me know in the comments section below what kind of minimalistic lifestyle do you live, guys? Because honestly, I do go out to eat once in a while, but nothing crazy. Like for Valentine's here, I think we're going to go to Yuck Yucks or something like that, but the tickets are like 20 bucks. The whole night's probably going to cost us under 100 Mind you, you probably all just watched me go to Vegas. I just got back from uh, Las Vegas, guys. Uh, it's the first time I've traveled in just over a year and a half, two years-ish. Uh, and I really needed that vacation. And, and now that I have enough dividends coming in, um, the trip actually costs less than my dividend payments, which I also revealed. I'll leave a link in the description below as well, guys. Um, but let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what kind of lifestyle you live in in that comment section. Slap a like on it if you think this is superly interestingly weird. Uh, my life feels feels uh, like a dream, a weird movie, uh, something that one day I'm gonna have to wake, wake up from. I don't understand it. It's just weird to, to go down the path that I've taken and I'm gonna try and use this path to not only keep myself accountable for the decisions I make, but educate you guys and uh, learn from you guys as well. So stay cool, stay awesome, and I'll see you tomorrow.